Welcome to Modern Farm Business Podcast. This podcast is designed to help the farm leader bring their business to the next level. We'll cover everything from leadership and finance to strategy and planning. I'm your host, Dean Hefta. Today, we're talking about time, productivity, and goldfish. What do goldfish have to do with productivity? We'll get to that soon enough. But first, let's talk about getting things done. Executives have a few key responsibilities. Things like setting priorities, investing time and assets and money wisely, you know, the resources that we have, as well as making sure the organization has a culture of execution, or you could say getting things done efficiently. So let's take a moment here. Each of us are an executive of something, even if you aren't a CEO. We all have areas of responsibility. It could be our farm and we farm alone. Maybe it's the team that I lead on my job or could be my household or simply my own day-to-day life. Regardless, we have responsibilities for setting priorities, investing resources, and getting things done efficiently. And if you want to know where you need to go, it helps if you know where you are. So answer a few of these questions with me. First, here's a few questions on priorities. I have clear long-term goals written down. I know what the five or six key things are that I want to accomplish this year. Every weekend, I lay out what has to get done this coming week. Here's some questions on resources. I intentionally align my resources with my main priorities, right? So things like, if I know I'm going to need to buy a car, I'm continually putting money away knowing that I'm going to be buying a car. Here's another question. I think in terms of investment and returns rather than just cost. I mean, you can't save your way to prosperity, right? There has to be an investment mindset. Another one. I view my time as the most precious resource I have. So because of that, I often hire other people to do work that's maybe lower value or I'm not as effective at. Finally, let's look at execution. If I start a project, I'm going to get it done quickly. If someone is doing something on my behalf, I follow up to make sure it gets done. On projects, I make sure I set a deadline before I even begin. If you answered yes to all of the questions, congratulations, I am impressed. For most people, though, it's going to be a combination of yeses and nos. What we know is, if we are clear on priorities, we will subconsciously align our activities and continually be looking out there for opportunities that can get us close to accomplishing those goals. When it comes to resources, cash is king. If we know what's important or the kinds of opportunities we're looking for, then we need to have the resources like time and money in order to capitalize on those opportunities when they arrive. And finally, execution. Too many businesses have drowned in great ideas while they're starving for someone to take action. Larry Bossidy, in his book appropriately named Execution, said, We don't think ourselves into new ways of acting. We act our way into a new way of thinking. So let's dig into execution because it's so important for our success. For great execution to happen, we need three things. Clarity, competency, and action. The clarity for our action comes from establishing a few clear and meaningful priorities. What are the things that if we focus our energy on them, we will continue to get closer to our vision? Competency is around our ability or our ability to bring in people with skills so that we can get things done right. And competency is a funny one. You know, a lot of the things that we do, we're going to do for the first time. And that means that when we're doing it, We're really putting on the hat of learning. And so it is a process of developing our competency through doing that. 
It's being intentional and saying, this is a process that I'm going to develop my skill through. Other times, uh, when we're doing things, we've already developed that skill, and so we're bringing the competency to the table. Regardless if we're learning or if we're bringing our skill, we know that competency is an element that is really important in getting things done. Finally, action. This is a biggie. When we decide on something that needs to get done, a couple of things we need to establish is how well should it be done? This is about getting clear on quality. Someone says the work truck over there needs to be painted. Well, that could mean anything from (laughs) grabbing a roller and a can of enamel Or it could mean that we're going to take it to a professional and spend $5,000 on it getting a really high quality paint job. What we need to get is clear on the level of quality that this project requires. The second piece is by when. This is a huge opportunity to ramp up our execution skills. And this is where the goldfish comes into the story. There is this belief that goldfish will grow to the size of the tank that they're put into. The bigger the tank, the bigger the fish. Now, while this isn't completely true, it illustrates the next point. And that is, our work will grow to how much time we give it. Now, maybe the goldfish isn't a perfect analogy, but there is actually a name for this phenomenon. It's called Parkinson's Law, which states, Work expands so as to fill the time available for its completion. Think about it. This happens all the time. You decide to take the weekend to clean the garage. Miraculously, you end up burning the whole weekend cleaning the garage. But if you say, I'm going to spend the next two hours getting the garage clean, all of a sudden you bring a whole different level of focus because you know there's a time limit. There's different ways we can box into our commitments. Uh, Maybe you're good at giving and holding commitments to yourself, and, and that's great. If you are, at the beginning of the project, be sure to set when you're going to be done. When is your hard stop? If you're not great at that, put the project in front of something that you know you have to leave for. Uh, Maybe it's your son's ball game or dinner with your spouse. You know you have a hard stop, and that helps you to commit to finishing the job before you leave. Another one is making the promise to someone else. If there are other people that are maybe dependent on what you're working on, be sure to set a time for when you're going to be done and let them know to hold you accountable. So instead of saying, oh yeah, I'm going to get that thing put together for you, and then hoping that you both know what that means for when you're going to be done, challenge yourself and say, I'm going to get that thing put together by Friday, and I'll have it delivered to you. That gives us a whole different level of focus and priority when we look at what has to get done. You see this tension and the power of this law all the time. Look at a reality show and how shockingly there's always a deadline that's just too close. We're never going to get this car restored. And yet they always make it on time. Or what about how much you get done the day before you leave on a two-week vacation? You start thinking to yourself, wow, if I worked like that every day, I could take over the world. So if you want to ramp up your productivity, button up those half-finished projects, and develop your team's execution skills, implement deadlines. If there aren't natural deadlines, create some. If you need accountability, let someone know that If you don't get it done on time, you're going to have to give $100 to a charity that you just despise. Or maybe you tell your kids, if you keep me focused on this project so it gets done on time, I'll take you both to the water park. I guarantee they're going to hold you accountable. Remember now, be clear on your priorities. This is about doing the key things that really matter. This isn't about just trying to stay busy. Next, look at how the project is either an opportunity for you to grow your competency through learning or how you can put the skills that you already have to work. And finally, get clear on quality and time. Utilize deadlines to avoid Parkinson's Law showing up to allow the project to grow to take way too much time. In fact, 
put Parkinson's law to work for you, recognizing the project is going to get as big as the time I give it. The deadlines push us. They create focus and help us to avoid continually trying to make it perfect. If you like this show, I'd love to hear from you. In fact, set a deadline for when you will email me your comments at dean at modernfarmbusiness.com. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Have a great one. Mm -hmm.